I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. What's going on, everybody? All my brothers, sisters around the world, I pray everybody is having a beautiful Wednesday morning as we thank the good Lord for so much. It's morning time for me. It might be afternoon for some of y'all or even nighttime. You know, whoever you are looking at this video, I pray all is well with you. My title says, I go to this church because it's convenient. Uh-oh, another hot topic, y'all. And I'm going to try my best to cut this video, not even 10 minutes. And I want to talk about this for a moment. How many times do we hear people say, well, that church just right down the street from me. You know, it's, it's close to me. I can even walk there. It's convenient. I don't have to drive far. I just get my kids and we right there in no time. The choir, they, they okay, you know. A lot of times the preacher just be begging for money and, and hooping hot and I don't know what he be talking about. But it's convenient for me to go to that church. I was just looking at one of Mitty Man's videos and it just hit me real hard about what he was saying. He just did a video called Let Go of Dead Traditions. Beautiful video, Mitty Man, and we thank the Lord for you as always, brother. Keep on yelling it out, man. Keep on screaming it out. Um, I agree with everything you said in that video. And, and some about when you said let go of dead traditions, it, I had to pause the video, and I know it was the spirit, brother. I thought about all my family members, pretty much everybody I know, how many church buildings that are up. And then I thought about people missing heaven because of we comfortable now. It's convenient now. We following tradition. We 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 stuck on this, we stuck on that. And man, I tell you, man, the, the spirit just, just jammed me up. And immediately I was I was praying, you know, found myself praying again. And I said, What is it, Lord, about tradition? All these years and years of tradition and people just don't want to let it go because it's been going on for so long. And then I thought about the word convenient once again, Mitty Man. Convenient. The churches have become, oh, very easy now to go to because of mess. But not everybody's church, y'all, you know. Nothing wrong with, with, let me say this like this. I'm not talking about everybody's church and I'm not talking about everybody's practice. But we got to realize we got a gazillion churches up, you know. And if you've been going to church to the same old mess year after year, week after week, Sunday after Sunday, during the week, and you're not learning, you're not growing, something is seriously wrong. And you keep talking about I'm just going because it's convenient for me. It's time to wake up, y'all. So once again, Mitty Man, great video, man. I'm not even going to touch what you was getting all the way into in that video because you already said it. You know, kind of remind me of when a pastor preach and then the other pastor want to come up behind him and, and try to show out because it wasn't his time to preach or it wasn't her time to preach. And it's, it's just time out for that, man. And, and, and we need to just come together, brother. And I was looking at that comment um, on your video. Uh, what was that name on there? It was C PC. Whoever PC is, I don't know who that is, but they was telling the truth on your video in that comment. And that comment just, it made me kept thinking about being convenient. If the comment said, it was talking about people, if people would ever come out of the traditions of men, women, you know, we got, look like he was saying in the comment, I'm, excuse me, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but the comment was saying, look at the programs like Women's Day, Men's Day, Wear a Hat Day, Choir Annual, Pastors Appreciation, so on and so on. All of these things that we have, choir robe services, installation service on everything, we got all these programs and ain't none of them biblical. And I can agree with that all the way. It's all about money now. We're taking up so much money. So once I thought about the word convenient once again, so much was running through my mind. When you look up the word convenient, oh, what do you see? It's easy. It's comfortable. 
Too many people have gotten too relaxed, laid back, lazy. Let me tell y'all something for those that don't know. I know a lot of y'all already know. There was nothing easy about Jesus in ministry. Nothing easy. He was lied on, talked about, beaten, mistreated, put on the cross. He was called devils. His own rejected him. Wasn't nothing easy about it. But he still yet, he loved, didn't he? You named it. Jesus went through it. Temptation. And he overcame all of it. And I'm so glad that he did, y'all. So it's past time to start doing what's right. Then when you start looking at, I'm going to this church because it's convenient, then you know what happens with that? You start making up excuses, excuses, excuses about everything. I know the church, I was talking to this brother the other day, man, I know ain't nothing good in this church, but hey, man, at least I can say I went to church today. I know it's just this low down, man, everybody in there hypocrites, man, the, the pastor just begs for money on the sermon, he preaches a, a prosperity sermon, but hey, it's right down the street from me. I'm taking my kids there, and I don't have to worry about driving way over here or going anywhere else. I know the musicians don't never show up, then when they do show up, they always getting into it with each other, choir members fighting and got attitudes, but hey, the church is in walking distance from my house. Or my family built that church. So that's why I go, man. It's convenient for me to go. Let me tell y'all something. It's going to be convenient going to hell, too. People, it's time, once again, to wake up. Because things are convenient a lot of time. Don't always mean that it's right. And it's the right place to be in, y'all. We got too many comfortable churches. Comfortable, laid-back churches pastors, comfortable congregations. And once you become comfortable in in ministry, like it ain't nothing else to do, you ain't about your father's business. A lot of people think when they get saved, oh, yeah, I done made it in. Just got started, didn't it? So I want to just stop for a moment before I get out of here. This, this was heavy in my heart about people going to church because it's convenient. It's on the same street as me. You know, I I, I, I can go right there, man. Choir rehearsal started this time. And then now the sad thing is, as I close, we got so many preachers trying to hear up and close out sermons because the game is about to come on. Trying to be people pleasers so they can go home and say, man, at least we get out before one. We out at one thirty. You know, Pastor, when he, he keep looking at that clock, that means he finna close out because he don't want nobody to miss the Cowboys coming on. Man, Cowboys ain't never done nothing for me. And they sure can't get me into heaven. And I, I'm a firm believer in if the Lord is truly in the service, let the Lord run that service. We putting a time limit on the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not saying you got to be in church all day like the, like a lot of people like to clown and, and, and show out. No, no, I'm talking about when the Holy Spirit show up, don't block it. If you 15, 20 minutes over, hey, you ain't got no problem when your boss man or boss lady tell you, hey, I need y'all to work overtime this week. Let me leave that alone. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. And I'm praying for y'all as well as y'all pray for me. But I don't want everybody praying for me because some of y'all want to pray bad prayers on me and wish evil on me. But to those who love me and I love you, which I love everybody, but to the haters and everybody that, that always got a problem with me, I pray for you as well. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Let's keep our head up high, y'all. Peace.